What is up? It is your girl here, Misty Diaz, and today we are going to do a very short, quick tutorial. This is just something I decided to do last minute. And first things, we're going to start off with the clear E6000 glue. We got a pair of scissors, and this is the website where you're going to be buying the product that I'm going to be showing you that we're going to work with today. So, this is what we're doing. That is right. We are blinging out our crutches. I'm so tired of them looking so plain. I'm not done with some of this stuff up here, but this is just what I've come up with so far. And that's what we're going to be doing. So they come in sheets. So here is a sheet and it is a very, very, very flexible and stretchy. And so far I am loving it. Here's where I got it. And here is the website. I found them on Etsy. And that's what we're gonna be doing. So basically, I am just cutting and measuring. Cutting, cutting and measuring, wrapping it around, and I'm putting the glue on the crutch and a little along the edges of the rhinestones. And that is it. Each one has taken me, this one uh, forearm crutch took me about an hour. I am not done with the handle and I am not done with the cuff. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take these rhinestones which are pretty similar to this color and I think I'm just gonna bling it out with my glue and the rhinestones. Let me show you, but I just wanted to show you so far. Looking cute, stay tuned. I am simply putting on the rhinestones one by one, but look how gorgeous. It's coming along. I just coat a little bit of glue on the cuff in one area, work on that area, and then just work my way how much I needed for this section right here. Like, look how beat up these crutches are. I didn't want to throw them away, so hence this is what we're doing. Took my E6000, coated the back, and I'm just gonna wrap this over. I don't have two hands. One hand's holding the camera. So, here we go. And then I'm gonna take this piece. And it's really stretchy. Don't mind any glue, it comes right off. It's on my hands. Kind of just line it up. And now I got glue all over me, guys. Okay. And then, looking cute. And we're just gonna hold it there for a second. And then we're gonna just go to the next piece, the next piece, and onward we go. Still working away here, and there's Miss Lola. So I just cut another. Um, yeah, I'm like halfway done. This is really tedious. Like I, I'm not gonna fabricate. Like this is tedious work, and Lola has just been patiently waiting. For me to be done <laughs> let's cut this little square i'm going to just double check and make sure yes 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 and then i'm gonna put the glue on the back wrap it hold it for a while here's the bottom again i'm gonna clean them up so like the crutch part of it just give me a few. It's almost, it's coming together. Woo! Hey guys, it's me, and it is the next day from my DIY bling out crutches. Um, I posted a couple, uh, photo and some videos a couple hours ago on my Instagram, and I actually got a lot of DMs 
Um, it's really not hard. It's really not. Hi, Lola, could you please go? It's just time consuming. And there's a couple of things since it's a day later um, that I wish I would have done prior. So if I do a second pair of these bling crutches, this is what I would do. I would have, I think it was just because I was so excited. I would get the sheet of the blinged rhinestones and I would measure out first how much I need. And then I would just double that for obviously the other cane instead of taking the time to measure each crutch. So my forearm crutches are in pieces. Um, these are just regular walk easy crutches. And so this is a section, this is a section, this is a section. And then I wanted to cover the back. So that's a section because you can't go around the handle. For the handle, I use bike grip. So that way it's cushiony. And then I use just black tape. Um, I'll post everything that I use for my crutches in the description box below. This was a piece, this was a piece. So things different, I would cut what I need and I would double that so I could just slap it on the next pair, uh, the next set. Um, the rhinestones, this is so time consuming. Can it be done? Absolutely. What I have done, these rhinestones, when I'm, here's what I would have done. Yeah. There's so much left over. So if, if I, a couple of things, I know I keep going back. I would have probably have just cut strips and just put them on here. But I wanted these types of rhinestones. I wanted these types. So it took me a second. Um, what is she doing? So, I mean, you can do that. So I'm 4'4", 80 pounds, so my crutches are small. It only took me two sheets, a sheet and a half, to do both crutches. It might take you four sheets for an average height maybe three. Um, so if you are average height and you're on crutches, I would order four sheets of the bling. So they, yeah, four sheets. If you are doing an area on your wheelchair, I would order two sheets because you might make some mistakes and you have a backup sheet. This is stretchy. So when I put this on, I was using my hand to hold that one area and I was stretching it over. So this is very stretchy. Um, I think they turned out great for my first pair. I happened to just come upon this stretchy bling. Um, so far, it's looking good. Um, I'm not too hard on my crutches. I'm hard on my other crutches when I'm racing or training. So, Again, this is only day one. I don't see any jewels coming off. Oh, I guess we're just gonna find out together to see if anything comes off. So, I mean, if I really wanted to coat it, I could coat it with the same glue because it does dry clear. So if I really wanted to, I could take that glue and I could just get a, a paintbrush and just lightly coat it. So that way these would stay and maybe I will do that. Maybe I will go back. Um, but yeah, so these are the crutches. I hope you guys like them.